Hello people of the verse, welcome to the channel, it's the Eradicator, and in this video we'll be talking about a lot of things that are wrong in Star Citizen about 3.12, you know that right now, you know it's the end of the patch, soon we'll have 3.13, it is already in Evo Caddy PTU, hopefully soon it will be in the PTU as well, a lot of players are waiting for that, and I think that's always a sign when you look at Twitch for example, you see that right now as I'm doing this video, only 400 people are watching Star Citizen, a lot of regular streamers are not playing the game and playing other games, including myself, last time on Saturday I played Elite dangerous instead of Star Citizen, right? All of that is a sign that people are waiting, they're taking a little break before the next patch and today I played Star Citizen on my Twitch channel, by the way if you're not following me on Twitch, the link is in the description down below, I try to stream at least twice a week and that may be the very reason, you know, the things that I have experienced today might be the very reason why a lot of players are taking a break from Star Citizen. But before we talk about all of that guys, of course this month's giveaway, I am giving away $150 in RSI gift card to anyone who subscribes to this channel, $50, and if you subscribe to my new channel, The Eradicators, which is where I talk about anything that is not Star Citizen related, that is going to be a bonus of $100, you will also have to answer the giveaway related question that I will be asking throughout the video. Alright, and also, I almost forgot, but my Patreon and channel members as well, and I also wanted to give a big shout out to Discord 2000 and Unknown 2031 for becoming my latest join members you guys are awesome thank you so much if you are a joint member or patreon you should have access to my discord where i'll be giving a c2 hercules with lifetime insurance all right guys well let's talk about 3.12 and uh, a lot of uh, issues that were found today i'll put also the links to the issue council down below so that you guys can contribute and raise awareness for the devs so they can be aware of maybe of some bugs that may be able to fix for star citizen Alpha 3.13 Alright, the first thing I want to talk about is, of course, desync. This is not a new thing. We've been talking about it on this channel for quite some time, but this is hitting all time laws here. This is an NPC that I'm fighting off here, a bounty hunting mission, fighting off against a uh, saber, things like, or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. So, so far, things uh, that are looking pretty good. I was even praising how the server was running smoothly on that very stream here. But watch as uh, things are going to play out here. That ship is moving uh, pretty smoothly, but but then, boom, it just teleports on the other side. And this is really a problem because, you know, you think that what you are seeing is in front of you, but in reality, the server thinks that it is at a totally different location, which is also a problem, especially if you are using gimbal weapons. Luckily, I'm using uh, fixed guns, which <laughs> which uh, are much uh, powerful. So when you are hitting, you do that. Uh, you do uh, hit much strongly and you kill your enemies easier. But nevertheless, with gimbals, a lot of people are reporting s terrible issues sometimes it's impossible to destroy NPCs that are just in front of you. Anyway, the next bug that we are having a look at is the uncontrollable, uncontrollable ship here, and that is absolutely for no reason. And here I am doing an escort beacon mission, but then all of a sudden the ship decided that it would spin out of control, and I was really wondering what was going on. So first the MFDs were not responsive, I could not use the MFDs at all, which is already a bug in itself, but I was looking you know, at the, the status of the ship and there was no damage at all, I was looking uh, at the outside of the ship, no sparkle, no sign of damage at all, so it does really seem like it is spinning out of control. I uh, tried powering off the ship, turning it on again, leaving the, the seat, getting back on the seat, nothing worked, and that left me, unfortunately, with no choice but uh, this guy is committing suicide again, and even committing suicide here uh, gave me this very uh, epileptic bug, I would say, which was not comfortable for my eyes and my viewers too. Now, I came back there eventually and uh, I was hoping that I would help my escort clients and this is exactly what's happening here. There's one of the hostiles that still need to be eradicated and you can see the pips here not showing up. Uh, it took some time, there you go, it took a couple of seconds for the pips to show up so that is also a horrible bug that hopefully will be fixed right in 3.13 and this is not the very first time that I see that pips are disappearing. Alright, so it is eradicated here but look at that, these are some of my clients that were not hostile before and when I came back they were marked as hostile, which of course I'm not going to destroy them because I'm supposed to be protecting them, right? so that is yet another annoying bug that is going to prevent the mission from happening because whatever I'm going to do is going to mark to make me fail the mission, so I might just as well leave, right, rather than just destroy them and risking having a crime stat. Nevertheless, very annoying and I hope that the issue council report that I'll be posting is going to raise awareness for that. 
All right, the next one is a funny one. It's quite harmless. It's actually quite practical, but it's still not something that should be happening. I am having a, a normal little landing here at Security Post Curry. You know that Security Post Curry is my home. I like to have any kind of missions there, bounty hunting, and especially those mercenary missions where we have to, you know, usually kill seven NPCs, right? So there it goes, smooth landing. And I pressed Y to get out of my chair, but look at what is happening. Instead of uh, turning around, no, I am clipping through the canopy <laughs> and this is how I ended up exiting my ship which is obviously not the intended way of exiting a vanguard where you're supposed to be turning around and getting through the back door I was uh, quite baffled I had no idea how that happened but nevertheless it did happen and this is also something that I'm going to report in the issue council lots of bugs that will be reported in the issue council for you guys to also be on the lookout right for the links in the description down below which uh, well, we're going to go for the next bug here which is NPCs not spawning another bug that I have experienced multiple times unfortunately in Star Citizen about 3.12 where I'm doing those missions with NPCs that are supposed to be around but unfortunately are not. It happened to me last week when I was trying to get some corpses and identify those corpses to see who was who. None of the corpses had spawned by the wreck that I was supposed to investigate, which really uh, left me uh, uh, <laughs> left me very uh, disappointed because I had done all that way to, I think that was a utopy, right, for absolutely nothing. And here, unfortunately, I was also equally disappointed because I went all the way to SPK. I haven't done an SPK mission for a very long time so I was really hoping to get a little bit of action right do a couple of headshots and uh, get you know some NPCs to scream to their death which is what I like but no uh, none of that was happening but eventually I changed servers the SPK mission was back and this is what happened when I used the grenade launcher look I'm pointing towards the upper side here normally I should be hitting the ceiling but look at where the grenade is going to hit it is going to hit right on the side how did that possibly happen as you can definitely see that the gun is pointing upwards but no the grenade is hitting on the side some kind of box and you can see that this the force reaction is pushing me to the ground and then unfortunately another grenade seems to be hitting the ceiling and this time ending my run here my very short run at the SPK this is definitely a death that should not have happened you can see the NPC also teleported there probably I would say caused by desync all right well that's pretty much it for uh, this video oh no you want to see a bonus guys let's look uh, at a bonus i got something to you show you from star marine this is the last star marine that i tried to play on saturday and uh, you can see that I spawned without my head and uh, most of my equipment was missing as well, which is also very weird. It should not have happened and uh, it's very off-putting, you know, you want to try some Star Marine and, and then this is the experience that you get. You're not going to go back to Star Marine, obviously, right? So CIG, you need to fix that too. And that's pretty much it for this video. I am really looking forward to trying Star Citizen Nova 3.13 by myself. Hopefully, 3.13 is going to add major improvements when it comes to stability and overall performance of the game including less bugs because a lot of bugs did appear in 3.12 that were not there before and uh, you can be sure that I'll be reporting about those on the channel that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching have a great day this is the Eradicator and I'll see you guys later this video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts at just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.